good morning something a little different today i know i say that in most every video but the weather is coming in we're supposed to get rain today and in the high country they're calling for snow on thursday so this very well could be our last hurrah in the high country right. first bit of business we're at kellen's claim and we got to get it all winterized hey and i said it on the first take well no it, was, <laughs> it took me twice but we're going to uh check it out and this is probably the last trip here for the year this year until the spring and then we're off to new ground to find gold hopefully all right now that we've winterized everything that is claim we're checking out a new pit it's another one of our spots we're checking to see if it's worth uh filing a claim on so i decided that i would do a little bit of recon here and check the area out before I even turn my detector on, just so I can see what's around here. Because what I end up usually doing is turning the detector on and detecting a smaller area and not really getting the full s scope of everything. But we're doing things backwards today. Well, backwards for me. And as you can see, the clouds are rolling in and the temperature's going down. Welcome to fall, soon to be winter. We got a little bit of bedrock right here underneath this rock. So I'm gonna move, try to move those out of the way and we'll check this out. And it's kind of almost in part of a flow line not a real big flow line, but there is part of one here. And then there's bedrock over here, bedrock over here. So we're gonna hit all those too. It's a weird looking rock. Got a target there. And a target here. All right, we've already moved it. Sounds like iron, but we'll see.
pellet from a pellet gun. There's my first target. We're off and running. All right, here's my best sounding target that I've had so far. And it was right underneath that rock. Why don't you listen to it? What do you think that is? Well, when you're the lead king, it's gonna be lead. All right, Kellen came over and got me from cleaning up the lead area and the nails. But he's got a target down here and he's having problems pinpointing it and it keeps moving. And it's on bedrock, actually it's in the bedrock. So we're gonna try to pinpoint it with the SDC. Let's get to and it. And you can see that that's decomposing bedrock. So who knows what this could be? Yeah. Kellen's over here digging the china. Um, I had a target four feet away, little piece of flat iron. His is probably going to be a big piece of flat iron because it screams. But we're going to find out because it is on that decomposing bedrock. Well, he just found the target and he said, it's the biggest one he's ever found. Is that good or bad? Let me show you what it is. Well, he's definitely got the biggest square nail of the day. Well, we set a time limit for that pit and uh, we got a lot of trash, but no gold, but it looks good. We just ran out of time because we're going to go check out another new spot. Here's hoping. Yep. Bacon and canned tuna. So good. So good. It's good. All right, we got a target and it's in the scoop. Scoop. And that's it right there. Gold. Woohoo! Know what that is? Nothing. It's else, a rock. <laughs> no, that's it. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to get each one we get, put it in the bottle, and then later on we're just going to go any mini, miny, mo. Actually, we won't. We'll, we'll pick which ones we want. <laughs> but everything's going in the bottle. All right, number two. Can you see it right there on the very end? It's not a whopper, but guess what? The skunks are gone. We've got two pieces. So we each got one now. We don't know which one's each one of ours, but we don't really care. <laughs> Let's get some more. Them some dark clouds coming at us. Two pieces of gold for two miners. Calls for a drink of water. All right, break time's over. We've got to get back to work. Can you hear the breeze? It's gotten a little windy. Well, you can tell by look at the clouds moving. Got another target in there, and it sounds good. Remember I said it sounded good? Well, look, that's because it's a piece of gold right there. You can see it popping through. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's another target there. In his hand. In the scoop, in his hand. In his hand. It's gold. It be gold!
sticking out. Look at that. That looks just like the one I got uh, a couple of weeks ago that we crushed up. And I was thinking, man, I didn't want to crush it because I thought it looked cool. And then look at that. Another one. Just like it. That's cool. All right. That's four. So we each have two now. All right. I don't have a tripod with me today, so we're just leaning it against the metal detector. We have a good target in here. Uh, <laughs> it might not be what we want it to be, but we'll see. Sounds kind of like junk. I just felt rain. Yeah, I felt one earlier. One little drop. Ah, that was it for sure. It's still in the scoop. grab the magnet uh, it's gonna be a piece of junk or not it might be a piece of flat iron or something nothing oh i see something moving yeah i think it might be junk maybe not <laughs> got a little bit of everything going on here there was a piece that ended up on the magnet, and we have a piece still in the... And it sounds better, and I have a feeling it's in my hand. And it is gold. It's a little chunker. There you can see it. It's gold. That was weird. We had two targets in there. That's why it was giving that weird sound to it. Two targets in there. One was gold and one was iron. That doesn't happen very often. And that's the piece of iron that came out of that hole with the gold. Well, we've tried and tried to get that six piece, but it's not happening. And as you can see, it is now raining. Crush them all and divi divvy it up that way, either way. But we got five pieces and we're heading for the truck and calling it a day. Boo, <laughs> we're heading for ice cream. <laughs> hey, we got ice cream and gold. You know what Gary got? Poked in the arm. <laughs> he was giving blood today. There are our five pieces of conglomerate. Time to break them up. We're going to start with the first piece we got. The big one. Uh, piece number one had three pieces in it and there's some smaller stuff too we'll, we'll pan it out and this one that looks a lot like one we got a couple weeks ago that we already crushed so that's what it looks like after we broke it up three 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 four and one that's pretty good. And we still got stuff to pan out, but it'll be small.
and there's four pieces and there's still some finds in there too so i think we did pretty good looking forward to seeing what it weighs and there it is all cleaned up 1.5 gram and a half and my scale weighs a little light and that's the biggest piece 0.4 and the next biggest piece was 0.3 i love my scale